motherfucking like look at first it popped off with motherfucking Jake Paul <laughs> I wanna go back to last episode when I was like hey, uh this nigga he's an athlete he's an athlete <laughs> he plays all sports she fucking plays yo, tennis yo this nigga got beat the fuck up bro man bro let, let me I'm getting lit getting lit I'm talking shit and I'm talking shit I'm getting lit on my savage shit. On my savage. Welcome to the motherfucking Savage Report. I'm your yeah, boy Louis V. Love. Nino. I'm here with the gang, and look who's finally back. T. Niggas took her chain. Damn, the professional way. <laughs> <laughs> the pageant. <laughs> no, I, 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 school took me over, guys. School. Don't go to school for accountant. It's hard. So, but how you doing in school? Everything going good so far? It's or? going. It's gotten a lot better. That's it's gotten good. a lot better. That's okay. Mm-hmm. Do you get a refund check with this all the school you go to? Mm-hmm. That shit about to be fat. I already got it. Bro. Oh, it was like, it's already gone. <laughs> Damn. Vacations and shit? No, bills? I mean bills, you yeah. know, yeah. have to pay. And you know, I don't have a job, so I just took that time to do everything that I need to do. That's all right. Man. I got my goddamn. Look at you um, growing the fuck up and shit. <laughs> when I got my like refund joint in college. $5, you said I, what? When I got my refund joint when I was in college. My parents was calling me like, you, you need to We're make sure. We're not trying to reminisce about your You never went to college, college bro. <laughs> and that's what this is about. Ooh. You know what's crazy? You know, I was so excited to get my refund because I did not get one when I went to NSU. You didn't? No, and my sister did. I'm like, what the fuck did we do different? We got the same Man, parents. That, that money hit my account. I went and bought some mid. <laughs> he did. He did. Mid all day. Seeds and all. Bought a five dollar blunt. <laughs> five dollar blunt. It wasn't no last blow back then. I would have bought a half of fifty dollars. <laughs> that happened to me the other day. I was smoking a blunt, and I was right over there by one way market. Mm-hmm. And this nigga that I knew from the that I knew from the streets, or whatever, just walked up on me like, "What's up?" And then like was like, "Shit, bro, let me get a blunt or something." I got five dollars. I'm like. <laughs> What the fuck am I going to do with this? It's 2007. Blunts <laughs> cost 20 bucks or more, my boy. Like, you're tripping, boy. Why you, what you think I'm smoking? I ain't going to smoke some paper. But anyway, man, let's get into it, man. Um, I want to start off with the topic of emotional men versus men with emotions. Mm. This just touched my lip. Yeah. I am about to have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what you should do, bro? You should get your own personal I one. I need one. Get your own this personal shit one. Just touch my lips. Because it, 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 it touches mine about two, three times a show. And oh my you, God. I, I, I just digest it. I have to go exfoliate my lips. <laughs> I have to. When I leave here, I'm going to exfoliate my lips. Let's, okay, cool. Are you, are you a man with emotions or an emotional man? I'm a man with emotions. Now, is an emotional man, is that. Uh, a bad thing? Emotional man is a man that it? it's the man when women say you acting like a bitch. Mm. Those are those type of niggas. I feel like a man with emotions is probably more suitable for most females mm-hmm. because I feel like an emotional man is like a nigga always bitching and moaning or crying or complaining mm. or yeah. just I feel like an emotionally um, that's like an overly emotional woman though. It's like at some point it comes off as a little unstable. Yeah. Like you all but not just crying or you know, like you always mad or you always yeah. making a big deal out of something. Like just somebody sure. who's always overdoing it. I don't know. That could be a little annoying. Abusive men are emotional men also. That's true. Like those are some of the most emotional niggas. Like a man with emotions is a man that's that can love you but not mm-hmm. going to, to, to destroy you in the process. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Like a man that, that with emotions is a man that can feel empathy. Without always fucking, you know what I'm saying? Uh, going like off the, the deep end. Yeah, going yeah. off the fucking deep end. Like, them niggas that be like, you break up with them, I'm going to kill myself. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to kill myself. you get mad, we get in an argument, now it's hoes in the wall around the house. Like, mm. shit like yeah. that. Somebody, like, somebody, somebody that's real manipulative. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. With their emotions. They, they can't handle their emotions, so they got this. It's a broad spectrum it of, is. of emotional ass niggas. Like, niggas like Tyrese. I think <laughs> niggas like Tyrese are what more em- do you want? <laughs> <laughs> emotional ass niggas. I, I think he's an emotional nigga because because with all this shit going on, you know what I'm saying? I don't think no woman can really respect an emotional ass nigga. To it, because think about this: he was on live mm-hmm. with his girlfriend, and she comes out and says that I wanted the homie. I wanted Paul Walker. Paul Walker. You wasn't even my type. You no, know, I thought she was kind of old. Mm-hmm. She said that. I thought she was kind of <laughs> old. He was like, "Don't touch me." Don't touch me. And he's just sitting there. A nigga with emotions, a man with emotions would have ended the live right then and there. Got like, straight. And yeah. nah, we wouldn't we wouldn't have just been acting like the upset girlfriend. Yeah. You sitting there like, don't touch me. No, nah, no, nah, don't touch me. Like, man, get up. And it's only getting worse. The longer yeah. this video goes, <laughs> she's talking herself into a deeper hole. Yeah. That she, <laughs> you're not her fucking type, bro. Yeah. But 
at the same time, I call him an emotional ass nigga, not because of how he handled that, but because of this nigga has a girlfriend and he literally has a whole album That's about right. his ex <laughs> <laughs> going on a fucking tour run. Yeah. Talking about how she left the relationship. It's emotional ass shit, bro. And when a nigga can't control you with his, like, all that emotional shit like that, you know what I'm saying? You end up looking like Tyrese. And, that's and I feel like... Oh, go <laughs> no, go, no, go ahead, T. I feel like Tyrese has showcased himself on multiple occasions to be emotionally unstable yeah, and just sure. out of control. Like, he's more on the crybaby side. Crybaby. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like that just goes to show how that shit is just, like, so unattractive and overwhelming because before he started using social media to be his diary mm. and vent, people used to be like, oh, Tyrese so sexy. He was, like, one of the sexy, Sweet ideal, I need a like, ooh, I love me some Tyrese. Then he started showcasing Black his ass motherfucking time. personality. Yeah. And now everybody's like, man, yeah, get you this a, nigga out of here. You a bitch. <laughs> he right. Right. And the whole thing with his daughter was one thing. You know what I'm saying? I get that you were going through a divorce and shit, that the emotions are high, but nigga, that shit was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> I done went through two breakups since that nigga went through that goddamn divorce. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? You don't, you but you, but you, you said something. Let when, it go. <laughs> yeah, you said something we were on the phone, bro. He was like, he's giving off like Kanye vibes. And when I really thought about it, yeah, you feel me? I think a lot of these guys have mental issues. Like some somewhere in their mind, they're not all the way there, and it causes them to act like that. True. At one point, he said he was on medicine. Who said that? Tyrese. He said he was on medicine with the whole. What, what do you want oh. from me with his daughter? He was on some type of medicine that was fucking his psyche up. Maybe That's he's back serious. on it. Yeah. I think when he couldn't control that girl emotionally and mentally no more, and, that's, and she that's realized that you was foolish, that you just an emotional ass nigga, and she completely cut off yeah. this nigga, then that's when all this shit come up. It, it's like a nigga throwing a temper tantrum. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of this, I get it, but at the same time, bro, this woman did not just leave you for no reason. Like, where is the accountability? Because if, if I couldn't deal with a, a woman like you, yeah. you get what I'm saying? That's I couldn't only imagine. A woman dealing with a nigga like you. Like, you probably tried to mold her into this picture-perfect world that you envisioned. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He just seems like a controlling, a emotionally controlling-ass nigga, bro. Yeah. I just wish she would just come into this house and when she drop our kid off, just look up and... Just breathe. Nah, nigga, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> just look up and just breathe. That's what that's what Tyrese be saying. Like, it's not that I want her to give a fuck. I just want her to come and just reminisce about the times that we had, nigga. That sounds like giving. You're a fuck. fucking crazy. <laughs> you sound like the nigga from you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> like you sound. Let me ask you this though. Uh -huh. This is kind of random. If if your exes, no, if your if your uh, your person's ex died. And they were like crying uncontrollably, couldn't let it go. Maybe, maybe, maybe you see the whole entire day they were weeping and so much shit. Mm -hmm. Like, how would you view that? Like, ex or your current girlfriend? Your, your current girlfriend's or boyfriend's ex died and she was weeping uncontrollably. He was weeping over the girl. Blah, blah, blah. How would you, how would you react to that? You know what I'm saying? I went through that. I wouldn't care. I was the crying ex. I was the crying boyfriend mm -hmm. and my girlfriend was the one that had to deal with me. In that situation, or well, my ex at the time, it was kind of rocky at that situation. But you talking about you talking about your yeah, like well, your, my baby mother died. That's that's kind of different though, because that's that's a that's a soul tie. No to a one child. was there to comfort. No, I'm just bullshit. <laughs> I had Jabril. Jabril yeah. was there to, to, to comfort me and shit. That was my dog. She yeah. helped me through that situation a lot. But. Because one of my homeboys um, told me like you know his girl, I guess one of her her exes, they got killed or something, mm. and she just was she was down and out. Yeah. And bro hit me up like it was like yo bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro, it's been a week. And she still is battling this person's death. Like, how do I react to it? And I told her, bro, like, you know, everybody did with shit differently. But I, I don't I don't know. I don't want to be selfish, but I don't know. After a week, I'd be like. Is there a time limit on grief, though? I mean, there, I mean, there isn't. But do you? You never know what type of, like, maybe that's what, yeah, they had. And maybe that's when you should probably maybe try to find out. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's where communication would have to come in for me, like. What is it that's making you so upset? Is it just the actual loss of this person, or are you just thinking about the times y'all had? Mm -hmm. Because I don't really think it's nothing wrong with that. Like I be, I hate when people feel like you, it's not realistic to feel things. Yeah. Like it, you, you could. That's like somebody you was real cool with in high school. Y'all don't talk no more. We've been out of high school for ten years, and they die. You are gonna be like, damn, mm -hmm. like what the fuck? Like mm -hmm. me and this. Me and this bitch used to be skipping every day, or we used to stay going out to eat after school. Like that shit, like when stuff like that, like happen, it take you back for a second. Like 
the fuck now? I don't know. We a month in and you can't get out of the bed. I don't know. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> a, month, a month in and you got to You, know, you, you ain't got to take into account that some people never had lost before. That's true. That's true. Some yeah. people's never experienced Experience. a loss before. And you know what I'm saying? Like with me personally, when my baby mother, when my baby mother passed away, I didn't cry until the like a week after. Maybe I would say like five days after mm-hmm. the fact that I found out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then like I was on and off crying. For weeks, bro. Like I could feel that shit, and like it'll just be happening. But and me, and my baby mother, we were—that's the mother of my child. So you yeah, know, I can only imagine. It's a soul tie. But you know I mean, if you think it's deeper than what, <laughs> than, 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 than what the shit. but you, but you know what, bro? A lot of people do not get over like breakups. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of true. a lot of people don't get over certain people that they've dealt with. And you feel me? Some sometimes it, it is what it is. You move on, but you still have this connection. With somebody from your past, you felt like what y'all had was perfect. And or y'all end on bad terms, like, damn, the last thing I said to this motherfucker was, fuck you, bitch, yeah, I yeah. hope you die, or some shit. Or how that person Now died. you dead. Like, or some crazy shit. Like, it's a lot of factors that could play into it. Mm-hmm. I personally would not be upset. I would be there for my, uh, if Deja's ex-girlfriend died and she felt some type of way, I'd be there for her. Mm-hmm. You can go to the funeral. Yeah. I wouldn't trip out none of that. Like, yeah, I wouldn't I'll trip about that. Yeah. And, and you know what? Now, it, I don't know if I would go. I, 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 I think I, I think I would go and just show go. that. Well, yeah. true, because that's still being supportive, and yeah. you know, if you're comfortable where y'all are in y'all relationship, you know. Yeah. But I would have to lean know, on me. But like you said, I would have to know. Like I probably would dig deep after some point and be like, "Well, what's what is causing this not to be out your nose like this, and you can't get yourself together? <laughs> what is causing that? Is it? I mean, is it just now, the devastation? I feel like it's levels <laughs> to the shit though, because boo hooing. <laughs> Falling out, I don't know. That could be like y'all still fucking up. <laughs> what if they've together for like ten years? Yeah, like or you know, for a long they're, time. That's what I'm saying. They're like, not over that that's love. A good, they're not huh? over that. They wouldn't be over that after ten years. They wouldn't be over that person. That's too long. They got. How, how many, that's not too long. My mom was married for twenty, and she's well over. Yeah, but how, over but how, her, my, her ex. How long has that 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 been done? That's why I said, oh. how in depth are you and your current girlfriend? Because I feel like. Really, if it's y'all are that serious, what communication really needs to be had? Because you really should already know about this ex. Like, haven't y'all, mm-hmm. y'all never talked about this before? I mean, do y'all dig deep into past relationships when you get with somebody? I mean, I know everything about uh, Deja's last level. relationship. I think I, I know what I need to know. Yeah. As far as like how close y'all was, nigga. I mean, I was close with ex girlfriends too. I mean, it can't be no no, no different. Mm-hmm. Which y'all, what, what what kind of connection you got that I never had? It's so funny, bro. My wife, like every every girl that I might have had relations with, like back in my single days, if we see him out and about, and I and I give him a hug, like, hey, what's up? How you been? When we leave, it's like my wife knows, like, did you, you, fuck, did you fuck that girl? Did she fuck? <laughs> I just be like, what? Where is this coming from? I just I just yada 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 yada. But it's like she be knowing. I ass don't see none of my exes. You don't none. I see like, him. I don't I see, see him in places. I do not see my exes at all. Like I don't see none of them. I don't even communicate with none of them. None of them. We follow each other. None of that. Like mm-hmm. none. And all of them was like long term relationships. Yeah. To a certain extent. One of your exes is my my daughter's teacher. Miss <laughs> Wise. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's not Wise no more. Yeah. <laughs> and my daughter's doing quite good in the class. I had. To, uh, she's a messy. great teacher. She is. <laughs> That's she's a great messy as fuck. We follow each Steph other. Steph go I think. to the damn talent <laughs> show. <laughs> now it's a big thing. But, but, but this area is so this area is so not, small. Everybody, that's everybody. none of my. And when I say my longest relationship, I do not even see that girl. Don't don't know nothing about that girl. And I'm it's fine. It's like a coincidence. Like, huh? but uh, as far as like, let's get on the insecure shit while we on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it insecure if you were to see? Let's say you had a Beyonce concert or. Chris Brown concert, wink. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And your significant other goes on stage and and gets a lap dance or yeah, lap dance. Now either let's, or. Let's push it something. How do you, bro? <laughs> how do you do you do you think it's appropriate to break up with them? No, that's no, that's that's no. That's, that's, that's 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 way over the insecurity level. That's insecure to break up. Now to to sit in a chair. Okay, you, okay, Chris Brown, because that's what we're talking about. You in a chair. Chris Brown comes. He gives you the lap dance. He got his shirt off. He's sweating. All the girls are going crazy. Your girl like, oh my god. 
Josh Chris. That's one thing. Now, if bro, like, spread her legs and start doing, like, yeah, 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 it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, yo, what the fuck? Is y- y'all must just fuck in front of me. What is it? Bitch, it's over. It's I like, what's going fuck. on? Show some respect. Call me, call me insecure, but if you get your black ass on that goddamn stage, that if you get your black ass on that goddamn stage, yeah. and that nigga start grabbing you by your neck, opening your legs, grabbing your titties and, and pussy, and I don't even choke you, and you're, <laughs> no, no, and, and you and you are sitting there letting this man do that to you, you're not the girl for me. Now you Sorry. go, to, you go to a Janet Jackson concert, Miss Miss Jackson. If you nasty, mm-hmm. you seen how she get? She gonna put you on the table. She gonna get real wild with you. I mean, mm-hmm. hate it. I'm gonna say, yo, baby, it's just Janet Jackson. It's just no, I'm not. It's just performing. I'm I, 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 I'm like, it's, it's just performance. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Like, if I'm in a relationship, <laughs> I'm not even in that position to be brought on stage. So he gonna say, nah, I'm, I would, Janet, I'm I, good. First of all, Janet, I'm good. First of all, Miss ja- <laughs> Jackson, I'm good. I think I would, my nigga. I'm not. I'm not. If I'm with my girlfriend, bro, I personally wouldn't do it either. Like, yeah. I, I would not. I mean, that, but that's just me. That's, that's I'm not, not get. I'm not doing that whether I'm single or in a relationship. I'm, no, no, I'm no, not no, getting. No, 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 hold on, no, slow I, down. I don't want that much attention on me, I so do. I'm probably, not doing that. Me and my like, wife, me and my wife's relationship. I, I like. I would give her a look like. And if she be like, like they want you to come yeah, up there. If, now if, she, I, if she give me a look like, I, I, it ain't gonna be no big deal. But if she give me a look like, oh, give me a little push, up, pound the butt. Yeah. I feel like it's all about <laughs> being a good sport. Yeah. If that's what you, I would not take offense to that. I would not be trying to break up. I'd be like, y'all was up that it's game, turn. Like, no, that is so like fucking just unnecessary. Like, I feel like just be a good fucking sport. She ain't going with Chris Brown. She <laughs> going that, with you. Like, nah. now, now, if, if, if we on the ride home, if we on the ride home, and I can tell, like. She flustered. Like I can tell been, that you're wet. Yeah, it's you over. wet. Let's get straight to it. You wet like it's like over. We've been foreplaying and, and talking I'm, sexy the and whole so day. If you would have got up there with Janet and she gyrating on your lap and bouncing on you and all of that, and I you mean, got a motherfucking budge. I would have tried to get that thing straight before I walked off, but I couldn't walk down and, and get down back on her. And I got a big bulge in my and hands. I'm putting my old used hard yeah. on on my girl butt. And the whole day, try to, try to, try to dance that. behind her. Yeah, Any like, nah. Time. If Any I know, because like, the, the thing about that woman is. I, I, that would not make me insecure. I would have been like, oh, I'm you not, got excited. It's Janet not her insecure. big one. Nah, fuck like, that. I, nah. I don't know. I nah. feel like that is so childish. I, I, I'm childish. I, yeah. Give me my shit. <laughs> and then, and then like, when we, we get home, you like extra ready. Now you want to fuck. Are you thinking and about Chris? Are you thinking about Chris? It's Chris or is it me? Nah, fuck that. I might. You know what? I'm honestly, if if my person was to, if, 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 we was to make a big deal about that if I ever did some shit like that. I might break up with you. Well, because you're annoying over. the fuck out of me. <laughs> over. I don't want you. You annoying me. Like, shut the fuck up. Have mm-hmm. fun. Especially Get the fucking over. chip off your shoulder. Be the fuck quiet. I don't want to hear this shit. Take me back to the fucking concert because you're blowing me. At like. that point, I got my bags in hand. I am out <laughs> because ain't no way in hell. Especially if niggas got it on camera. Especially if you was on the shade room. Chris Brown yeah. did the most, and you the one that he doing the most with. But if nah, but, I'm like, but we vibe, you, a, baby. you a shade room thumbnail. But if my wife, <laughs> oh, nah. but if my wife went up there and Chris started to do too much, like try to go up her leg, and she was like, I'd be like, yeah, that's my fucking girl. Yeah, Chris, yeah, the fuck. Nah, I don't give a fuck that. who you is, nigga. Nah, yeah, I'd rather me and my. I pay for backstage passes before I let my girl go up there and get a fucking grinded on by fucking. First of all, I'm first, first thing I'm telling my girl is he don't even like black girls. So <laughs> that's <laughs> your favorite line about Chris. You don't even like your black that's ass. That's why it should be all in the name <laughs> of being a yeah. good sport. Yeah, but um, at the end of the day, I think I think a, a lap dance might be a little bit too fun. excessive. But being like being sung to on no, stage and shit like that. No, if you securing your shit, have fun. Like go to the after party with Chris to see if you get in the section. <laughs> y'all go to the strip club, bitches bouncing their ass. I on do y'all. not get lap dances in the strip club. I do not want your dirty so pussy you on my fucking. That's a hell of some money. That's money, but the, the bitch ain't touching me. Now my wife Does she come twerk her ass in your No, now my, my wife definitely you? told me some shit like so just you money Don't throw all your money in the strip club and she in. Wait, 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 where are we at the strip club? Are we in Atlanta, Miami? Oh, we, we can't Richmond. be in Richmond Because in Richmond, that ain't going down Alright, alright, alright Because in Atlanta, then I would pay for my girl to get that lap dance Before, before I go get one I don't want But, but we did have a phase, me. bro When we was, in the, we was in the strip clubs I definitely was married, you had a girl But my, I, I would tell my wife, like, yo, we about to go to the strip club She'd be like Oh, all right. Because, I mean, the trust is there. Like, what the fuck? All right, exactly. Why? So why can't we just have a little fun but, on but, stage with but, the lap but, dance? But, I, but that's I, Chris I gar- Brown. I guarantee she didn't. <laughs> oh, so the status of the nah, person yes. is like, oh, so y'all are intimidating. But no, she, no. But she it. knew I wasn't going in the back room. I wasn't going in the back room again. lap dancing, though. I just was throwing money. she wasn't going in the back room with Chris Brown. She was coming back to you when she was finished. Nah, She actually going on the stage. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all sitting up here saying. So it's a big deal because she's singled out. 
Hold on, y'all sitting up here saying it's a it's a intimidation. All right, well then let that homeless nigga give you a fucking lap dance. Then your only reason why your ass went up there because it's Chris Brown. So the reason why I'm upset is because it's Chris Brown. So we at the same motherfucking spot right now. Get your black ass off that stage. Don't <laughs> embarrass me. I, bro, I guarantee you. <laughs> don't embarrass if, me. If Janis Jackson called me on the stage player. to give a lap dance, my wife would not be fucking with it. I don't I don't care how much she was like, go ahead, have fun. At the end of the day, I, I don't think. She be fucking with it, and I think that would make me just be like, "Nah, I'm good." Especially if my dick like, get hard. Yeah, but your dick's gonna get hard. <laughs> no, but, uh, I but mean, it was Janet Jackson Super Bowl. Okay, so I get respect. <laughs> no, hello, I get you respecting. Yeah. How she would feel like, nah, showing me do I'm not gonna do that shit. But if she was like, "Go, boo, get the dance." No. You not gonna go? No, she not. cool with it. She lit. Like, hey, it, that's someti- fine, nigga. Sometimes all of that shit is just some of that. That shit just talk. Sometimes like, go no. ahead, do it. Go ahead, <laughs> go ahead have that. fun. Sometimes I you gotta. Sometimes you gotta repass that shit. Stage. She wouldn't even go. So let, me, so let me ask y'all this: Is going out? Let's say you at the crib and your girlfriend or your boyfriend like, hey man, I'm gonna go out with my homegirls. I'm gonna go out with the team, with the homies. We're gonna go out to the club and shit. Is that a deal breaker for us to be with someone that wants to like go out, that has that type of life, that you know they go out and shit nah, like that? Nah, nah. Uh, ex- no. be excessive is another thing. Like if every single weekend you living and dying to go out and to turn up and to be on this scene, to be on that scene. Mm-hmm. Me personally, I'm not fucking with you because that's not me. But I go out way more than my wife. I can hit my wife right now and be like, "Yo, we getting ready to go to." Top golf, and then after that, we're gonna go to an after spot and we're gonna get some drinks. I'd be home around two. She's not gonna stunt, but that's been me my whole my whole life. Her that, that she's that she's known me. But it's different if next weekend I'm like, yo, we doing this Thursday, we doing this Friday, and I'm gonna do this on Sunday, or we gonna be like I'm like I'm fucking party promoter. <laughs> then like that shit, it, it get a little like it gets too much. Like I think it's certain it's a certain amount that you can do. I think it depends personally. on the girl or the boy or the girl that you choose. I it's not a deal breaker for me. When I when me and Deja first started dating, I was Sunday to Sunday yes, she was. the fuck outside. You were. But I, I mean I you. slowed down. <laughs> I would have dubbed you. <laughs> I, I won't okay with you. Thank you, Deja. I'm so fucking glad you said it. You okay, can. I said I wouldn't be irritated by Ax, but she was okay with. I said I wouldn't be irritated about it because I excuse me. Yeah. I've been there. But it depends on where you're at, like, I guess in life, like mm-hmm. if you're 30 plus and you can't stay the fuck out the club, okay, mm. you're annoying. At this space that I was in my at, in my life, mm-hmm. I was outside. I just lost 80 pounds. Huh. How old were I, you? Like 25. Oh, yeah, I'm right. 27 that's, now. That's young. Like, I'm I mean, young. we we all we listen. We all. I don't got young. no kids. I work. I got a car. I take care of myself. I'm going to have fun. Now, I did, I've slowed down on going out a whole lot. Now, I was just like, we can go. That's how I am now. But people go through that turn of phase in their life, and it's just like, either you with it or you not. But I have slowed down. Can you comment on that part? I've slowed down <laughs> a whole That's That like a mouth slow. Steph, Steph used to be outside with me. He know. I but I, I slowed down a whole lot. I don't even go to the club now. It's just like bars. I think it depends on if, like, if you meet this person and they're going out all the time, then you can't expect them to just stop going out because y'all are in That's a another thing. When she met me, she knew I was a Yeah, you got, you got to think about what, Nick, motherfucker, I was outside when you met me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you was cool with it then. You was yeah. fucking with me, this, that, and third. Now we together. You gotta let me transition. Facts. You gotta let me. You gotta let me chill for a second, man. Like you I gotta, gotta let it melt sometimes down. I gotta, yeah, like you yeah. just like if a nigga doing drugs, you can't just go cold turkey. But see, you I'm, gotta slowly wing yourself off this but shit. But that's also also like picking goes to like if it's such a deal breaker that y'all are gonna break up. Like we didn't break up, but I ain't gonna lie, it did cause some friction, a like a little like oh my god. Mm-hmm. But. I mean, I stopped, but that's also like, you know, picking your person and like knowing your person Mm -hmm. as well. Like if you know, like pick somebody, I guess, who like to go outside too. Yeah, for sure. Because she was too outside when we first met. Who was? Deja. She was. was Two outside niggas. And then she said, Steph used to hang with us. She had me outside. Yeah. No. Okay. Nah, no cap though. Me and Deja would be out. Then everybody be out, and then me and Deja be in the cut, dead yeah. sleepy. Like, <laughs> bro, like, I'm, I'm fucking sleepy, bro. Like, I'm tired of this shit. I want to go home. Yeah. 
damn. No, but, nah. but when we rekindled our flame, where we do that at? <laughs> Why you say flame like after that? <laughs> our flame. <laughs> God damn. Uh, oh, um, when we rekindled our flame, where we do it at? The bar. Where I seen you at? The bar. Cause, cause niggas is single at that point. You had to rekindle yeah. the flame at that point. You single, you go out. It don't matter. She used to be outside too. Man. See, I'm I'm outside on my terms. Like I'm not. I like to be in the house a lot. I'm in now. In the house now person, that's how sure. I am. Like um, I rather binge watch a TV show and chill. I'm yeah. a video gamer. Never. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> It might not have been, but nah, week. nah, she wasn't going to the club every day. She yeah. definitely was getting turned up every day, though. Yeah, it might like, not be the club, but that group of friends together might as well be the club. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no matter where they at, yeah. might as well be the club. But nah, man, if y'all like this motherfucking content, like and subscribe to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Support us as we support y'all. Shout out to the viewers, straight up. You. So the next topic that we want to talk about, the rest conversation is. Uh, Things you were never taught growing up that you think affect you today. Financial literacy. Financial literacy. That's I was gonna say the same thing. That's probably it. My parents did a well, a, a damn good job about everything else. Probably just financial and literacy. And how to be emotional. I'm very, I'm very, I'm not emotional at all. Like I could cry over stuff, but like, okay, not emotional, affectionate. I'm mm. not affectionate. Like we, it took a very long time for me and my mom to be like. Giving hugs and really? yeah, like we did not be hugging and kissing and all that. No, I know my mom loved me, but mm-hmm. like that's not how she was raised. She didn't raise us like that. Like we was not affectionate at all in my house. I was raised like you know, I love you. I love you too. You can do it. You can do anything. Like I was, I was never told like I ain't gonna be shit or. Da, 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 da. Oh no, nah, she was not nothing all like that. that. I just. I, I knew that I made life hard on myself. I made a lot of decisions that I, I never should have made. But, yeah, I always had support from my parents. And But I would just say, you know, financial literacy. Like, I don't think anybody ever told me about anything financial. Maybe because they were trying to figure it out Themselves. on their own. So they couldn't really, what did they have to pass to me? But I would say that. Mm. Maybe that's it. Mm. I'm not sure. Um... I wouldn't really say, for me, not really financial literacy. Uh... My people's kind of taught me how to save money, make money, mm-hmm. legally and illegally. Okay. Legally. Um, <laughs> uh, I would say it could be affectionate. Mm-hmm. Nah, I can't even say that either. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't even say that for real, for real either because it's like I got the I love you. Like me and my cousins and my sisters and my brothers, that we always was on – I love y'all niggas. Like mm-hmm. we we gonna die together, ride together, type shit. Like my cousin's so deep. It's almost like we a motherfucking gang. What? <laughs> like we yeah. and my aunties. Like I grew up with aunties. Well, my 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 family's kind of different when it comes to ages. Like mm-hmm. a lot of my first cousins are really my. I look at my aunties. Mm-hmm. My mom is the youngest out of like twelve kids, and yeah. like. You know, I got I, my sisters are ten years younger than my mom. My oldest sisters, my my half sisters, they ten years younger than my mom. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I always grew up around love and shit like that. But I would say just you know, it was more so me just being taught the wrong things, yeah, in the wrong way. It's more so you know what didn't I know that affected me today? Honestly, it's like what I I wish there's some things I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I wish there was some things that I wish I was just a kid yeah. and just be a kid and just be regular without knowing grown shit and doing things sexual, money wise, getting like you think about it. Like you teach your kid how to hustle. Your kid knows how to hustle by the age of 11. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can't really work a job. So what you going to do to get money? Now you understand the importance of money. Mm-hmm. You understand that you need money to get anywhere in the world by the time you're 11 years old. So what you doing now? Your, your idols are who? Niggas that's getting money by, by any means necessary. And who's in the neighborhood that's getting money by mm-hmm. any means necessary? So who do you want to be like? Well, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just certain things that I wish I just wanted to cut I grass. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to what? I just wanted to cut grass. I definitely wasn't cutting no fucking grass. I was cutting the fuck up some No, I grass. wasn't doing like that. But, like, me and my brother, grass. we nine years apart. And so we just really, like, we never been close. And I don't know if that's, like... I mean, age difference and, like, personality clash. You said you and your who? My brother. Mm-hmm. He live in New York? No, he lives in Pennsylvania. No. Oh. Is he Nine? from New York? Mm-hmm. 
Now you just big gap, don't have no affection anyway. I'm just <laughs> keeping it the buck, bro. I'm My whole family is like that though. Like we like <laughs> like two Christmases ago, we was like gathering around. Like we need to be like closer as a family. Like I, we love each other. Like we know we love each other. Like we family, but. It's just like ain't nobody going around doing the most about it. Like, how'd I don't you grow with your cousins? Like, y'all like grew up everybody sleeping on grandma's floor and shit like that. And well, I would say that more or less. I was really closer with my cousins on my dad's side mm-hmm. because, like, on my mom's side, I'm close with them too. But like, there's no girls my age yeah. that's cousins on my mom's side. Like, so I got a real small family. So it's like my oldest cousin. She would be, she's dead, rest in peace, but she would be like maybe 40 right now. Mm. And then my young, the youngest grand is like maybe like 17, but it's really gapped out. So it's like my brother and them, 40 years old, my cousin, she 39, my brother 36, then it stops. No, Mm. then my other cousin, Rena, she 35, then it stops. Then it's my sister. She has nobody her age. Then it's me. I'm 27, and I have a cousin that's 26, but he's a boy. Mm-hmm. And then it's a girl that's, like, 17, and that's it. So it's like, and then also, my whole family lives in New York. We live here. Yeah. So it's like, we ain't really, but when uh, that's why I say I'll have that experience more on my dad's side, because we went and stayed with my dad during the summers a lot. And so I would be with my dad's side of the family during the summertime, and we, it was a bunch of us. Like, we all the same age. Like, my favorite cousin, we the same age. So... Mm-hmm. We would do spending a night over her house, or we all stand at my grandma's house, or something like that. Like, that's how it was on my dad's side, but my mom's side, not really. Not really. Man, we was deep. We was deep as I don't have a big family. First cousins, second cousins, third cousins. I'll talk about niggas you call cousins. We used to be. I have a lot of that on my mom's side. Like, a lot of these fake plague aunts, and because those was my mom's friends growing up, and they all had kids. Now, this is my fake cousin, and Mm -hmm. all this and that. And uh, yeah, but no. We was deep. We still deep. Like, our family events be fucking packed. My family is not deep at all. And we be fighting. Well, it is deep, but my family has so much, like, I'm not going to say issues, but really issues, like, unresolved issues, like, where it was just kind of like, like my dad, my I never had no grandpas. They both were dead before I was born. Mm. And then my mom's dad died when she was 11. So that was like that. So she, I don't really know her dad's side of the family. Like I know like one aunt, but I really don't know them. And then like my mom's side, it was like my grandma. She, she had all her kids real, real young. She had her first baby when she was 13. Well, 12, 12, 13. And mm. then three of them back to back. So it was like... They Wait, got a she lot was of thirteen when she had her first baby. And Twelve, she thirteen, had three back to back after that. Three in total, so right 13, 13, 14, 15, three thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, three back to back. Why did she do that? Who's who's telling her to do this? No it? one told her. Who she told her doing... not to do this? Nobody. 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 Are y'all got the same dad? Who? The third, the girl, with the thirteen year old that got the grandma. Respect her. Oh, my back. grandma. No. Well, my mom, my, my aunt Crystal has her own dad. Then my mom and her brother have the same dad. And then my aunt Sheila. So, hold on. Was born like eight years Maybe later, I'm and she got her own dad. You weren't, but it was no guidance. So I, this girl was thirteen when she had a baby. Grandma. Now this ain't this girl. My fucking grandma. It's a grandma. Now, you, oh, show some damn respect. Grandma. Yes. <laughs> Just some goddamn respect. It's like it's Gamby. She's talking about a thirteen-year-old cousin or something. No, her no, grandma. My Stripper. grandma. This was back in the goddamn forties, bro. I'm not gonna. I'm not talking shit. Cause my grandma had a lot of kids, so I ain't no telling her what time, how old she was. No, she my grandma. Years. Like my grandma, she just was wild. She was. She was just wild. Because she could. It might have just been the times. I mean, 13, 14 back then. Thirteen, Elvis fourteen, Presley had a 13, fifteen. Thirteen, fourteen-year-old wife, didn't he? He's a, he was like 40. I don't know, I still but my respect, nana, I can't respect that, bro. My nana know, was just like, <laughs> my nana, she just, she was just, my nana was kind of like a free spirit. Like, like a hippie? A hippie. No, she wasn't no hippie, but she just didn't have, like, she had rules, but not the rules you would expect a Do nana to have. Do people think that their grandparents weren't, like, humping and throwing that humping pussy out <laughs> Throw that thing in a circle. Think about this. Think about this. A lot of these Not too grand- so much on Joyce. A lot of these girls. <laughs> A lot of these girls nowadays, right? I'm gonna show y'all my when grandma. they turn grandparents, man, unless the internet gets scrubbed clean, mm-hmm. <laughs> they're gonna be like, damn, look at grandma back in the day. <laughs> grandma, Miss B. But nasty. Think, think what that goddamn grandkids gonna say about us, bro. It's gonna be actual Ooh. video footage of uh, us. Yeah, that. I like the way she do it. She grinding on her. Right? I'm gonna be all this bitch. Don't get that pussy on me. <laughs> it's gonna be a video. They're gonna be like, shit. 
Lil like, Rue was my yeah. shit. They were like, Grandpa, is that you? Yeah, that's yeah, me. That was me. Fuck you talk about, you little nigga. I used to get pussy back in the day. I'm fucking Why my dead. dick don't work no more? I'm an old ass nigga at this point. Man, I be thinking about age. It comes so fast. Mm-hmm. Like, it bro, do. I'm about to be 33 years old. Okay, cool. Let me, let me break it down to you this way so give you a different perspective. Mm-hmm. You were 33. Uh huh. In 20 years from now, uh huh. You'll be 53. Yeah. 20 years ago, you were, you were 13. Now, what have you done between 13 and 33? That's such a long time. What, sexual or? Not, no. Oh. no. <laughs> Get your nobody mind Nobody's talking about sex. I'm talking oh about just think about how much life you've experienced. Like, yeah. you're, th- you're 33 years old, but to somebody that's 53 years old, you're a baby. You haven't yeah. done shit. You haven't experienced anything yet. So look at it like that instead of feeling like, yo, I'm getting old. We, I feel like we always say that. I'm getting old. Time's going by. Like, But look, look at how much life you've experienced from I feel 13 like, to 53. I got to take vitamins now. You should have been taking vitamins. I got to take no. I'm talking about like prescribed vitamins. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have a vitamin D deficiency now. Me too. <laughs> I have to take vitamins. I have to take vitamin D once a week I now. Mean, life comes at you. Man, it does, man. It comes and I'm fast. anemic. I have a 10-year-old now. Damn. I have a ten year old and I have, I have a six year old about to be seven. I have a my my daughter's about to be in the fifth grade, my nigga. I got a fucking newborn. My daughter came to me and, <laughs> and talked to me. Yeah, you have a fucking newborn. Good luck. But my daughter came to me the other day and was trying to talk to me about bras and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like she's starting like like they're starting to she's starting to learn how her body is about to change. Yeah. Cause between now yeah. and thirteen, she's supposed to be having her period. I got my mm-hmm. period when I was ten. Yeah, what I'm saying it's a lot of shit going on. Yeah. Now she up here, fucking like ever since that woman told her about <laughs> her, her breast about to be coming in. That's all she want to do now. Yeah, she. And I'm like, man, stop doing that shit, man. Like every time I go in the room, she over here like, I'm like, what the fuck is going Don't on? Don't look at me. Yeah, like I'm like, but, what the fuck? But it's so fuck, bro. It's so beautiful to see your kids grow. Like all of my kids, bro, have different personalities, bro. And I just, I just sit back and I look at them, and I'm like, yo, everybody's coming into their own. Like my daughter Hannah, she's just chill. If we out and about and it's music playing, say we had a festival, she just going, she gonna be chilling, doing her thing. And don't care who's looking at her. You know what I'm saying? I got my 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 youngest daughter. She might be shy a little bit. Like everybody is different, and I love seeing them grow and turn into adults. Like this shit is just part of it, bro. The period shit gonna come. The bra. The boyfriends, the girlfriends, chill, chill all of that shit gonna come, bro. <laughs> chill out. That shit's gonna come. Yeah, I I, I, I'm I'm going through like a late twenty, mid twenties like type of crisis. Mm-hmm. Like I'm about to be twenty eight. I'm just like, you know how you go through you that point in your life, like in, when you're young, like you feel like you haven't done enough. Mm-hmm. Like that's where I'm at in life. Like I left my career. I'm in school. Mm-hmm. I don't have no kids. Like I just be like, I did not expect my life to go like this like i really thought i was gonna have a lot of kids and especially by now and i don't have not one child i thought i'd be i thought and i'd, I'd be, be shocked. super rich super i thought i'd be like super uber rich like i always was in goddamn plays and acting and shit singing in the church choir had uh, some little small businesses as a kid like i thought i'd be rich rich by now but i never thought that i I never said like yo bro you're you gonna have five kids by the time five <laughs> you 30 kids. by the time you 32 you're gonna have five kids but I, I look at my life now bro and that shit is a blessing like life is good like if you focus on the negative and where you at i think you're just doing that because you're approaching 30 once you get to 30 you'll be like oh man i'm, I'm 30 years old like shit's shit's fine that's what happened to my Until sister. She just turned 30 out. and she was like, <laughs> dirt come on. You still on the streets at 30? <laughs> yeah, but man, I ain't gonna cap y'all, man. Like the the older I do get, the less noise I want to hear. Oh, for like sure. the older I get, like bro, the other day my dog came in the house. I just wanted to cut his fucking feet off. All that fucking script. Mm-hmm. All that. I'm like, God, shut up. Yeah. I hate too much noise. I hate it, man. Especially at like in the morning time I'm getting them kids ready for school, I'd be like, man, don't make a fucking sound. Yeah. I'm irritable. You know what I'm saying? My joints hurt. I'm getting old, man. My fucking, like, bro, the other day I ate bong chong. You know what I'm saying? Bong chong. I had heartburn for three days, bro. Damn. <laughs> like, what you had, the spicy chicken? I had the spicy chicken. <laughs> I had heartburn for like three days. I love that shit. I was fucking about to die, bro. Yeah. Like, I had that heartburn that creep up on you in the middle of the night. Hit you, know you, t- you, 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 you fall asleep and you wake up and be like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, like- I'll, I'll have it like if, if I if I if I'm real sleepy and I like eat like in my yeah. bed and then I, I immediately like go over and go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Like I'll wake up and I'll feel like something like, I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> and my, I, I wake up like this, like this. <laughs> and my, my wife would be like, Are you good? <laughs> Like you dying, <laughs> irritating me. Yeah, don't, don't die me dying life. is irritating her from her, her, her sleep. Oh man, 
man, back to the subject on fucking emotional men and men with emotions. Am I emotional man if I cry at TV shows? Hell no. Nah. Bro, I cried at an episode of First 48 yesterday, and I had to ask my girl, like, are you pregnant? Because, you know, mm. I don't get emotional like that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I do. But this one episode caught me off guard, man. Yeah. This girl got killed over three hundred dollars for for weed, bro. Mm. And her family, this the whole backdrop of her family just talking about how they miss her and love her and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And on that, let's talk about love loss. How many of us have watched have lost someone? You know what I'm saying? Like whether it's from death or a heartbreak, had your heart broken? You ever had your heart broken before? Somebody ever fucking build you up and broke you down? Um. Damn. So you must be a heartbreaker. You must be a heartbreaker. <laughs> yeah, God. I have my heart broken. No. I'm gonna pop it off then. Kiana Hoover. She broke my heart. Kiana. That was my first heartbreak. I've never felt from that from, from that from before. I was a player. <laughs> I was a player, y'all. And then she, I met her, and she broke me. What about your heartbreak, RJ? I don't think I've ever had my heart broken. Stop being, don't be like that. I'm just being honest, bro. I have never had my heart I know this nigga has, for one, I know he's cried over a girl before. Crying over a girl is different than having your your heart, like your heart broken. I've never had my heart broken. Like, to be honest, I've been in a relationship so long that the the past relationships that I look at, they they don't amount to nothing. Like, those girls can't hold a candle to my wife. So I I don't really look at that like they were something serious. They were girls. I mean, we just was, we was having sex. What are you talking about? If you cry over a girl, nigga, your heart was broken. What the fuck is you talking about? You might just be emotional in that moment. All this politically correct shit. Nah, you might might be, you might be, niggas don't cry. Unless they heart is broken. I'm trying to think of the time I've cried over a girl. <laughs> I'm trying to think of it. Is you looking out I'm like, like <laughs> I'm trying to think. where have I cried? He's cap. He's cap. I remember the cap. It's on the tip of his tongue. You know when I'm he cried. To think, he's he's cap. I'm niggas trying to. so hard it's not, out here. Listen, that's not what it is. Everybody has not had their heart broken, you, you fucking lover boy. You've never had your heart broken? I don't think I would say. I don't think I would consider it a heartbreak. Like, For, I don't think yeah. I would be. Like, okay, you hurt my feelings, but like. How did Kiana break your heart for you to be heartbroken? She is on me. (laughs) (laughs) That's not so. So how come women can't be heartbroken when they get cheated? Get over your bitch ass, nigga. I can't. (laughs) can't. No, you can't. No, I just want to expect you to come with a little bit more. Yeah, like I I thought you were going to elaborate. Like I got cheated on, which is a big scheme. Y'all were together, faithful. Y'all were in a relationship, and I got cheated on. That's why your heart broke because you got played first. Because I loved her. That's why my heart got broken. So yeah, yeah, don't laugh at my fucking heartbreak. You're trying to make laughing. a joke out of me. No, it I'm is dead like, ass. My heart. I thought you was gonna say no. something else, cheating on me. No, like, I thought you was gonna say I walk thought. in a room and she's fucking a nigga. Listen, no, I, I say this. She, she, I remember I was messing with this girl named Nicole. <laughs> you don't have to make up a heartbreak. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to be heartbroken. I'm heartbroken. Now I'm heartbroken. <laughs> I was messing with Nicole. Oh my god. And Nicole, <laughs> Nicole, Nicole he didn't told even me. Fuck about nah, me. Nicole told me she kissed Tyreek at the movies, and I remember being like. I remember being like, "Damn, you kissed Tyreek." <laughs> now nah, this was like this, this was high school. This was middle school, high school. I was a grown man when this happened. The fuck is he talking about? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, I was Nicole. Nicole, Nicole I'm sorry. He been oh, with his fucking wife since he was like 16. <laughs> it was that heartbroken. You made a boy. <laughs> he made up a whole story. That was a terrible fucking story, man. It was true though. But it she wasn't. Told me she it was Nicole. Nigga. Last name. And that broke you down. Flyreek. She said it was Nicole. If they're watching this, Nicole, she told me she kissed Flyreek at the movies. What's Nicole's last name? I, I'm not lying, <laughs> bro. I don't, don't want to say, last, wanna say her last name. That's too personal. Lying. That's too personal. That's, that's not that personal. I I was faithful. I thought I found the one. And then after I got my heart broken. I ain't going to make no jokes. I went, I, I, I went on a whore streak. Like, I was wild on that for that one, man. I ain't going to lie. I was heartbroken. I felt like Tyrese. <laughs> I felt like Tyrese. Yeah. Every time I talk to one of my homies, be like, "You good?" I just don't understand <laughs> <laughs> what he got that I ain't got. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like every time uh, I, it could be a nigga say stuff. How you doing today, man? I'm just trying to make it, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just trying to make it, man. I'm just taking it day by day, <laughs> one day, <laughs> one day at a time. I'm here. Oh man, I'm telling y'all, bro. I was heartbroken. <laughs> like just walking over, like, damn, what happened to Steph? He got cheated on. Man, ask Kyle, bro. I called Kyle. I was broken, bro. I was like, I can't believe this bitch did me like that, man. I can't believe it. And how I found out was what really broke me. I found out because the bitch pocket dialed me while she was with the nigga. During the, during the act or just, just politicking and I don't know what was going on. 
I don't, I didn't hear. I heard the nigga's voice, but I don't know if they was fucking or not. Mm. But when I asked about it, and then she just flat out was like, "Nah, nigga," like she's just like, "Yeah, this is what it is." Like, <laughs> damn. I was like, "Damn." She ain't even try to lie. She probably was just like, "I'm caught," so. Just played me. Yeah. Don't date none of these military women. I remember, I remember at one point. <laughs> I was in, I. She I was in the like, army. I wasn't heartbroken, but I remember at one time I I, I fell. I Don't fell do it. For, they will have a whole nother fucking life. That Anyways. Ass. I remember one time I fell for this for a jump joint, and I was I guess I was heartbroken that she was jumping. Man, all right, next, bro. I'm not talking <laughs> about this bullshit. What the you fuck is he talking about? To <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> I wanted her to stop being no, a jump man. off so fuck we can be together. That shit. I was heartbroken. But we ended up being cool. I, I, I want to say like, I want to say like, <laughs> two year, three years later, we ended up being cool and shit like that. It was all love after that for real. For real. We was kids. I was like, I can say I was a grown, grown man. I was 18. You know what I'm saying? 18, 19. And I kind of dodged a bullet in my eyes because imagine being married at that, that younger age nice. or fucking with somebody that heavy at that young age. I, I can't even have this conversation with him. I got married at 21. <laughs> but he was with his wife well before that though. Like on and off. On and off. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's just like 16. This nigga doesn't off, count. How does it like it, bro? I've been in multiple relationships, bro. Like we were on and on. No like, shit, don't count. When I asked him about who broke his heart, he actually just been playing. This nigga been he been he had his wife, basically my his wife, whole life. My wife, I've I've really only loved maybe one or two girls in my whole entire life, and I've been in love with my wife for so long that when I look at other relationships, it's just a girl that I was messing with. I can think about the good times we had and say, okay, this relationship was better than that relationship, but outside of that, like I can't. I, they don't measure up. I've me. never really been. I haven't been in many relationships. Like for real, I mm. really haven't. I'm. I'm really. Not, I really have not. And the ones that I have been in, except for one, I've done the breaking up. Mm. I've. I, yeah, I really don't break up with people. So it's just like I really was probably already at my fucking wits end. Like this bitch gotta go. I don't even have time to feel about this because I'm mm. irritated. Like I, feel I don't you. know. I've never been broken up with, to be honest. Really? <laughs> Just perfect life. <laughs> nothing is such nothing, a liar. Nothing, listen, nothing humbled you listen, ever in life. I've never been I've never been broken up. I've never been in like relationships. I might have been messing with a girl, but not no shit like, yo, we going steady. This is my joint. Like I never had I never And had then that. back then it wasn't like now where how people are just such like you know, like setting their boundaries or setting the tone and clear communication, and all of that. Back then, once you're done with a motherfucker, y'all just stop talking. That's it. Like we ain't got yeah. shit to say. Let me tell y'all, I had a I had a girl break up with me one time. I'm not gonna tell her name because people know her. But <clears throat> we'll talk off camera. She broke up with me. Started dating a nigga that was a known ass whooper. Like he beat niggas up. Like not women, but he he beat niggas up. And let's just say. Fast forward, they had a kid together, and then this nigga ended up whooping her motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? He's still beating people up, I guess. Yeah, you know, one of those situations was like, you know, he was kind of, you know, he was an aggressive ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was only a matter of time. And of course, she reached back out to me and was like, hey, man, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bitch, no, your baby daddy is a killer. I'm not about to, you <laughs> lost that. You know what I'm saying? You, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Cool. You motherfucking alienated yourself. You First of all, you broke up with me for this nigga. You know, so you think I feel bad? That's karma in my eyes. You better bob and weave. You better, oh. <laughs> better, you know what I'm saying, next time you come home. But I did not feel bad because you broke up with me for another nigga and that nigga ended up whooping your ass. I, don't, hmm. I think I still might feel kind of bad. I'm not feeling whoop, bad for that. She got whooped on. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, I'm not feeling bad for that because you broke up with me for another nigga and that nigga ended up whooping your ass. Yeah, that, Cause she didn't cheat on you. She awful. I mean, maybe all you could say I know? is, <laughs> how do I know you didn't cheat on me? <laughs> you broke up with me for a nigga. Those are fake hypotheticals. You broke up with me for a nigga. Oh, so she broke up with you just, for. That's what I'm okay. saying. Okay. Y'all was already probably doing some creep shit, some weird shit behind the fucking knife. If she broke up with you for, then yeah. she already had him in mind lined exactly. up, ready to go. Exactly. And now you got. It wasn't like y'all broke up and that was just her. Now you out here making TikToks about how you're in an abusive relationship, well, bitch. Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? Just shut up. You know what I'm saying? 200,000 followers on TikTok, and they all think you a victim. Come on the show. Let's talk about it. Let's see, let's yeah, come on here so we can have a, a we'll talk with you about your bad decision making. Um, yeah, man. But, but, you but, should just say the grass is not always green yeah, on the other just, side. That seems that's, Maybe, that's more PG. Yeah, just some of the More what? That. PG. What the fuck that mean? Like parental guidance? You know, G-rated, R-rated, PG? I'm trying to understand what are you talking about? 
you, how you saying like she said you should have said the grass is just not greener on the other side. Oh, that's a PG instead bird. of saying you know I'm I'm glad she got her eye black. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I felt good when I when she when she was talking oh, about it. Oh, are you serious? I felt a little good because you broke up with me for this nigga. So you laughing at the TikToks? How much time went by? Man, we dated for like a. I feel like it was a year of my life wasted. Yeah. Like we was dating for like a year. Like that's niggas not were, a lot of time. Niggas were at that time when you're in your twenties. It's a lot of fucking time. All right, I could have been doing a lot more other things with my time. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm already broke and I'm spending my little money on you, mm-hmm. and you out here fucking off with this fucking bum. This nigga's a bum. Number one. He just beat niggas up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he can fight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But let's see if he can fight this jail sentence that he has to do. He has to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> he fighting court now. You know what I mean? And now he, you know what I'm saying? You so, hate them. Yeah, I ain't really, I ain't really appreciate that. I never, I, that shit always left a bad taste in my mouth because mm-hmm. I, I was trying to do right by these women. Yeah. And I kept getting played. So then I, I just started, <laughs> I went back to the streets. And I've been good ever since, yo. Like, my, my when I say the streets will protect nice. you, the streets will protect you until you're ready. I'm dead ass, bro. Like, like I'm 30 something years old, and now it's like I feel safe to date. In my 20s, I had relationships and shit like that, man. But it was always like, who's gonna cheat first? Are you? <laughs> I'm is, is it safe to say that you're, that you're in love right now? Like with your girl, it's safe to say that you're in love. Yeah. Are you in like vulnerable love? Like it's just like, hey, I'm vulnerable. Not, I'm vulnerable. Like, you love. know, like you. If anybody can break me down. Yeah. It would be you. It's I'm so vulnerable that I'm not even thinking about what you can do. I'm not thinking about you cheating. I'm not thinking about you yeah. having no type of connection that you shouldn't have with anybody. I'm not thinking of any of that. Like if yeah. something, if my wife was to do something, I was to find out, I would be shocked, complete. If she died, I'd cry because that's so. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? If who died? If my girl. Why would we not talking about her dying? I'm just saying that's this vulnerable. Nigga. That's not vulnerable. That's just being human. <laughs> that's vulnerable. Yo, you're crazy. That's being human stuff. That's not I'm even just being saying, vulnerable. No, some people, if some people die, you're not gonna cry. You don't cry for everybody that dies. I cry. I, listen, you're bro. You're fucking lying. I cry for a damn it. It's an habitual liar. I'm an you emotional. You cry for everyone that I'm not, a man not. with emotions. You don't cry for about, everyone that dies. You just cried for first 48. You don't even know that person. He was literally <laughs> up in this motherfucker making. You know that time we, we had that one episode that we didn't do. Because he was making fun of someone the that... When you started singing the death song? song? Both of y'all. That was you. But what was that got them compassion for somebody that died then, you fucking hypocrite? You know what I'm saying? He's full of shit. He's That's full right. of shit. I have you know it, bro. Saying? Listen, be honest, but let's go back to what you were saying. Yeah. Men crying, I don't think that makes you an emotional man. It's just you're a man that has emotions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, unless you're Tyrese. No, but you don't want to. That seems that seems kind of. I feel like a man with emotions comes with a certain level of life experience, yeah, and maturity and things like that. Because some niggas also think it's cool to be nonchalant, so you don't want a nigga that just act like he don't care about nothing. That's sometimes, annoying too. Sometimes I can get nonchalant about. But over shit. every fucking thing, nah, hell, like, nah, nah. I hate a nigga, like, so, I hate a motherfucker that acts so unfazed, uh, like, mm-hmm. nothing bothers me, I am nah. never bothered, never moved, nothing you could do could affect me, that's, I hate people that act like that's that. That's how I was sometimes, at a certain I, point, because no. Feature was my idol at one point. I'm yes. so glad your girlfriend came <laughs> in and saved you, and got you vulnerable, Feature whatever was my you did. nigga, I had to protect my heart. So fuck sometimes, y'all talking about. Sometimes you got to. My heart, my heart breaks, and when it broke, nobody gave a fuck. Nobody gave a fuck. Niggas was like, man up. So I manned up, and then I got I adopted the Bible of future, and I went, I fucking lived my life by it. It's so it's so funny because I've been in the same I've been in the same relationship all these years, and I've seen all my friends be in these multiple relationships with multiple people. I've gone through four relationships with Steph. <laughs> if, we, if we're just being honest, I'm going through. I'm going through every single relationship. Girls that I call, my, I've like been girls through that I claim. all these relationships with my cousin. I've been through all these, all my cousins, my friends, and it's so funny. I see the growth now. I like. I can look at Steph and be like, okay, cool. This, well, this situation is different. I've only been around Steph for one, two relationships, and I see the growth. Mm-hmm. So I could only imagine four. Man, my and, and I'm happy, bro. We're both cheating on each other like a motherfucker, so it didn't fucking matter. That didn't count for real. I didn't think. I, oh, I don't think we knew you was cheating. <laughs> hey, oh, you just got some tea to go back and sip. No, oh, well, Both. I don't think I have it to go back, but I have it. Who cares at this point? Like you just talking about accusations, and you just confirmed her truth. You're talking accusations. I don't care. I am in the relationship. I, I guess I don't I give guess. a fuck, and that's what I like, bro. <laughs> tra- full transparency. Stand full on that tra- shit. Yeah, I'm standing on that motherfucking shit. I hate to put you on the fuck. Well, I knew. I I did know. I actually did know. 
but I don't my, think my cheating was she mo- knew. My cheating was more so I at the beginning. I only knew about one. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Girl. My cheating was more more so the beginning, but the, all the other shit was just me sitting there. Not and I giving feel like fuck. that girl purposely told me that. Like, let's see what you can do with this information. And I was just like, I'm somebody told my you I was fucking. Somebody told I. We talked about this already before. Somebody told you I was fucking. I. She did my hair. Spicy. Ooh. And told me when I was at my appointment. <clears throat> She's like, oh, you do the podcast with Steph. Girls are, but 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 girls, <laughs> hell. but girl, but girl, let me tell you, girls would be girls be messy you, sometimes. She though. didn't say what y'all was doing, but she definitely was like, you was on her line, and like like we like y'all was. I, she ain't say all that, but she was making it seem like you was so down on her, and she could just not get away from you. <laughs> she couldn't leave me. No, like you was just so down on her. Like, you was on her. You was on her heavy. Like y'all, like yeah, like y'all was really like. She do hell. I confirmed this. You didn't. That you, bitch is lying. <laughs> the fuck. Where's the receipts? Who is she? Give me a name. Say it right now. Say the name. I'm not gonna say her He's name in a relationship, right a vulnerable relationship. Yeah, vulnerable but love. I, say it right shit, now. I might hear do my fucking hell. No, I ain't starting no. Oh, yeah, no, we and her fucked for years. Yeah, she did my hair, and she was like, you on a show with Steph? Yeah, I fuck with Ty. And you was going with Jabria, and I'm just sitting there huh? like. I haven't fucked her since I, when I was fucking with Jabria, though. But she said y'all was talking, and y'all was, like, trying to find time. Maybe. But it won't really no time. Time for love or time to fuck? Okay. Time to fuck. Hey man, that's the second time. The first time I almost put my wine. My on his wine. Carpet. Nah, man. Yeah, but look, man. So look, easy. man. I live in my truth now. Everything I've done before the relationship, it is what it is, man. It don't even count to me no more. Like I was like, it is what it is. So I'm why not- do you care if RJ had a heartbreak then? No, because he was lying about no, it. No, no, no. No, I'm, bro, I don't I'm lying being about completely it. Completely honest. I'm just not a person. I'm just not. I'm just not gonna tell fucking everything on this show. But I ha- I'm trying to think of a heartbreak. You don't know. I'm really trying to think of one. He been how long you been with your wife? Since it was twelve. Since like no, since like sixteen. <laughs> since since that's a long time. I know. Wait, did your man. wife I've, break your I've heart my, the first time? I've had my when y'all broke up. Then your wife leave you? No, <laughs> no kids. No, my wife. Me and my wife broke up because I was messing. I messed with somebody else. And like that, Cheater. that was that was heartbreaking. You know what I'm saying? And Cheater. that was heartbreaking. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> and listen, you know, like break, like like breaking up with my breaking up with my wife as we got older in life, like college and shit, and seeing her like deal with other people and be serious and maybe love somebody else after mm. she loved me. Okay, I'll, I'll say that was that was maybe that heartbreaking. You up. That was like, was like oh, no, I gotta go get her back. A dead ass. I was like, I was like, you know what? Like this shit ain't this shit ain't worth it. Like what the fuck. You can hit anything. I didn't. Okay, since he was, we was kids, the nigga started fucking at 13, 14. It, it's done now. It's done. Let's go get serious. Let's lock you back in. You got done really early. Yeah, at twenty one, I was just like, I felt like I, I had, had enough. Now, and I still had more growing to go. You know what I'm saying? I had but still you had more maturity. Yeah, yeah. I was out here in these streets. I knew I won't go. I knew I won't go. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to violate. I wasn't going to uh, mess up that trust or that that union and go out and step out. So after a while, you're gonna still see fine girls. Girls still gonna come holler at you and impress upon you because you're young. And girls are attracted to the ring. That shit is that shit's crazy. But at the end of the day, like now nah, we locked in for life, bro. Like that's my shorty, man. I ain't. I'm not gonna fuck with no other girl. I ain't gonna jeopardize that. Like we gonna grow old together. We gonna die together. Why are you doing that? You make it seem like a lion. I'm playing. No, he's the playing the violin. Oh, violin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. This nigga's Let him love. say how he loves his, his wife. His wife. So many They have things. a union. Yeah. Man, look, man. You locked in for real. Yeah, that's good for you. I'm really happy for y'all. I, and, I, and I'm happy you for you. You love your girl? Yeah. I do. I'm happy for you. I wish I had you that. You finna move to Oakland. Oakland, California. Here we come, baby. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I like y'all relationship too. I'm, y'all been together for a good little minute, man. Are, are yeah. y'all in vulnerable love? I would say so. Look at her. No. Damn. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know, bitch. I did say vulnerability. vulnerability. Yeah. She looking like I'm sick of this bitch. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> nah, I'm not No, going okay. Down. I can say this. I could be transparent. Do you mind? Okay, I can say this. I. This is how I feel. I don't want her to say how she feel because, to be honest, I'm scared I might not like what she's going to say. Oh, but shit. This is how I feel. I feel like our relationship has recently blossomed into a new level. I'm the butterfly. Yes. So it's like, it's a real relationship. I'm not saying that it never was, 
but I I feel the like seriousness of it more now than I ever have. And um That's good. Yeah, I just feel I have felt felt like it has developed just the way we do things. The way we are communicating, because we was we was having you on a toxic at first, mm-hmm. like real bad, y'all know. And mm-hmm. uh, we haven't, we don't really be on that no more. Like, and I feel like that's a level of growth. Like, we don't be getting to fighting and shit like that no more. Mm-hmm. Uh, truly, reason why I had to get beat up for us to stop fighting. Damn. Cause don't, now the option, <laughs> I she did beat me up. Relax. <laughs> but it's okay. Happen. It's okay though. Like, no, it's okay <laughs> though. Not say that on this fucking. Bro, camera. we are two. We are no two girls, bro. We are two girls. Nobody cares about that. No, people. It's, domestic violence, domestic violence. Well, I'm she the one was like beat me. It's just, I was just saying that to say that like I the one that has realized like I, my first reaction don't need to be to swing on somebody. We do not condone any type of domestic <laughs> violence. And if anyone needs, if anyone needs help, you there's a hotline you number was right here. Just gra- you was just <laughs> grateful 15 minutes ago for the bitch getting knocked out. But now I you don't condone. Knocked her out. Not, let me say it. We do not. We do not support any domestic. Violence on this show. No, we don't support it, but <laughs> and, on me, I bet you get help. people. I mean, let's not. I mean, I get it. Y'all are men, but like, and y'all have never put y'all hands on women, but like, in my relationship, nah, room, it depends. Well, yeah, because okay. this one, this one girl hit me with a cast on. <laughs> okay, she had a cast. I'm saying, like, you ain't I never hit your fucking, wife or no nah, shit nah, nah, like nah, that. Nah, like, nah, oh, you, nah, nah. I don't. You, I put my baby mom on the forehead. Okay, but. The thing is, about that, you said she was coming at you with a knife or she something. She was. Okay, that's so that's different. And you, you could have did yourself. worse. I could have did but worse. But what I'm saying is, in my relationship history, that is very normal. Boy or girl. What, what's normal? To fight. Nah. It was very normal. And one day she said something that really hurt my feelings. She was like, you just always want to com- keep putting your hands on me because people don't put their hands on you. Mm, and I was like, Her people, her people. You you sound like Monique from Precious right now. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Monique, too. Okay. Shout out to Monique. <laughs> to Monique. But, day. yeah, I feel roles. like we have developed and we have come a long way and we are entering into our third year. Love. And we got a house together. That's, That's all right. All right. And we are one, and I know it's real because, like, we share finances. Mm. And you know what? You once you start sharing finances, they really get serious. Y'all have a kid together. Y'all have a y'all gonna have a kid together. What you gonna do, man? Mm-hmm. You gonna All adopt right. or you gonna carry? Or are oh, you, you I gonna would carry? love to adopt. She is not carrying no fucking baby. That's what I'm saying. That's all right. Y'all, y'all should carry. Yeah. Y'all should yeah, carry babies gonna at the same time. Oh, that's gonna be too, too much. We're gonna be in there huh? fucking fighting. No. Two, we just we just talked about that y'all not fighting. We just talked about But okay, <laughs> if we both pregnant at the same time, that could fucking go left. I feel that though. You, no, like have you like you've been around a pregnant woman five times? You see the way she acts. You don't. You what? Two. This, Imagine if you had two. This pregnancy was lovely, man. Maybe it was her fifth one. Maybe that shit was a breeze. I'm not gonna I mean, say shit one. else. Sorry. <laughs> Why is she looking at me like that, my boy? What the fuck, man? I'm not gonna lie. I'm very, I'm very, very like. You gonna have more kids? I don't want nothing, but if I, if God willing, do your I'm, girlfriend will. have kids? No. Oh, so you're gonna so have more? So if she wanted, to, shut yeah, up. You're gonna have kids. My girlfriend doesn't want to have kids right now. She wants to focus on her right career. now. But yeah. she may, if she wants that, you wouldn't mind giving it to her. All that means is for free. All that means is you're gonna have 20, uh, 20 year old kids with a newborn. Congratulations. I'm not. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> don't fucking don't try to project. I'm not. <laughs> don't okay, project buddy. your shit on me. Don't do not project your shit on me. I'm fucking uh, not. Uh, this nigga said I'm not. <laughs> not. Like I got plans. Like I'm at that age now where I'm focused, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to go to the next phase of my life now. If I got if I got that a million dollars tomorrow, then yeah, nigga, fuck you talking about. But I am not in the financial place to take care of another fucking child. Yeah. Fuck that. Kids are fucking annoying as fuck. Number one. Number two, kids are expensive as fuck. And number three, kids are annoying as fuck. Annoying as fuck. The other day, I motherfucking went in there to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. My kids took the bread and just mushed it. <laughs> mushed bread, my nigga. Every, every time they open the fucking kids bread. Kids don't give a fuck about nothing, every time, every time they open the bread, they get another piece of it. They, 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 they go to the back and they don't like the front piece. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So every time I always get left... With the front and the back of the bread. I never get the the, the white sides from both. Yeah. I always get hey, come the on, butt. man. I'm so sick of this shit. The thing that gets me, bro, is it's like small shit. any any drink that comes in the house is gone that same day. Bro. 
Oh that same my day, bro. Tell God, me about yes. it. I mean, if I, I can go home right now, and it's, it, I had an orange soda on my dresser, I can go home right now, and it'll be empty on the dresser. Somebody had drunk bro, it. Bro, tell me. Like, who the fuck drank it? it? Why would you drink it? And then it's <laughs> like, bro, for one, it's a hot soda. It wasn't even in the refrigerator. And then it's like, kids don't give a fuck about clothes. Like, I feel like I have to do laundry every fucking day. I can yeah. literally just wash everything in the fucking house, and then within three days, their laundry basket is throwing up clothes. Where are these clothes coming from? I don't. I don't feel like I. I don't feel like I put clothes on for like the day that was like I folded up in my closet. I put it on. and I went out and like threw it in the dirty clothes. I feel like I. I like I, maybe I hung my jeans back up, and maybe I hung my hoodie back up. I feel like every. You single, don't wash everything every single. Time I feel you like wear. I feel like every single thing. The moment that is worn is gone into the into the the dirty the clothes wa- hamper. The dirty clothes hamper. That's me. Like I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. Like I probably. Oh, it's over. Oh, oh I, I thought, thought you were telling us to wrap up the yeah. topic. I thought, I thought you was like, oh, show. y'all niggas rapping. <laughs> y'all niggas rocking. Was having the fun. <laughs> Bye, y'all. All right, but anyway, man, we can wrap this up, bro. Hey, it can uh, please like and subscribe. Watch us, love us, support us. Thank y'all for getting us to like what 77,000 7, subscribers. 000. Oh, we can say this now. I think we've got. I think we reached over a million views on all our social medias. Anyway. Yeah, bitch ass niggas. Each one, TikTok, Facebook. Uh, oh. Instagram, Facebook, do the damn thing. I Facebook, I told you that was a good one. I love mm-hmm. Facebook. I love Facebook so much. Follow That's us on all of these shit. So <laughs> Nigga Johnny was over here like. <laughs> anyway, and I thought he was saying like, yeah, stop talking like, about y'all niggas on the road. Yeah. I thought he was saying like, shut <laughs> the fuck up about relationships. Talk Even about the phone died. I thought he was saying That's change the topic. Yeah. Oh. All right, well, bye, y'all. But anyway, man, we out this motherfucker, man. Like and subscribe and show niggas some love so we can show y'all some motherfucker. Cameras coming soon. Merch coming soon. Web- website coming soon. Weapons we- we- coming we- soon. We- weapons, niggas. <laughs> website. Bro, I got a stuttering thing. Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's foul. That's foul. <laughs> right, and now I am heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> well, we done. We out.